Hi guys, here's a really simple page in my pocket page notebook using the Rise and Shine digital kit. Um, it's spring here and all the flowers are blooming and of course my eye is immediately drawn to the pink ones. So I've got three flower photos um, today and I had thought I might use that pink paper with them but actually when I picked it up this blue bubbles one was underneath it and I really loved the contrast between the blue and the pink. So. I think I'm going to go with that and I'm going to use the journal card, um, that bloom journal card on the other side and it went nicely with the blue too. So I'm just going to start by trimming down three sides of the blue paper and I'm just going to stick that onto the left hand side of my pocket page notebook which is the paper side. So um, I'll make a little insert to go into the pocket page on the right. These PDFs are super easy to use. I literally, to get these papers, have just printed the PDF page just onto some regular A4 printer paper, which is lucky because look at the mess I make of trying to stick this down. Um, I don't know why, I was trying to work off the wrong side. I always stick things down from the left first, and for this one I tried to start on the right, and it did not work. Anyway, my point is, is that the digital papers are great because you can never run out of them. So if I had um, stuffed up that piece, I could have just printed another one. So that's one of the advantages with digital anyway. So I'm going to run my three photos down the left hand side here. I think they're sort of like little two inch square photos. I had just printed them out when I was doing my um, Project Life printing just because they were really pretty. So I started by sticking the bottom one down and then the top and then I can align the middle one into the exact middle so I get the spacing right. A really simple way to space out the photos like that. And I've just grabbed just a piece of white paper. Um, because I do these pocket pages so often, I have a wee stash of these white inserts cut down because that generally tends to be what I use more often than not. And all I did was stick the journal card on top of that. And I want to add a label for my journaling. There's not a huge amount of journaling I need to do about this, so I think I can fit it all on a label. Um, and I'm just choosing a blue one. I tried a pink one as well, but I'm going to try a blue one just to um, tie the two pages together a little bit. And I'm wondering about a couple of these other sort of die cut pieces. Begin seemed quite appropriate for spring, but I really loved the pink hearts. So I'm just leaving them both out for now and I'll finish this side first. So I'm gonna do some journaling on the label right now before I forget. Um, and instead of black, although there is a lot of black, well, darker colors on the left-hand side, I decided to add my journaling just in a gray pen so it didn't, um, didn't take up too much visual space. This is quite a light page, so I wanted to keep it as light and airy as possible. So that's that, and I just wanna add just a few bits and pieces, I mean not much, this is a really simple page. So I liked that red heart because it does tie in the sort of darker pink colours on the other side. So I'm just going to stick that down before I fiff about too much with it. Um, and although it's simple, I did want to add something else, so I grabbed some of these white heart puffy stickers from my stash. I really love them, they're a beautiful shape and actually the hearts aren't too dissimilar from the die cuts. So I'm going to add that and I wanted to add something you know, on the, on the left hand side. Like I've got two on the right and I wanted to add something else on the left. So I wondered about another puffy sticker but the white doesn't show up very well on the bubble paper. Um, and there is this circle with a heart in it and I actually quite like the circle now. I wish I'd sort of left it but in the end I decided to fussy cut out the heart in the middle. And then I can stick that down and that gives me my visual triangle of three. And then apart from slipping this wee insert into the pocket, this page is all done. If you want to grab the Rise and Shine kit for yourself, I'll leave the link down below. It's super easy to use and this page came together in probably less than 10 minutes. If you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye!